Welcome back to another Lego review with the Brick Queen. This time we're going to do an awesome, awesome Lego Star Wars set. It is an exclusive. It's the Tantive 4, set number 10198, and it has 1,408 pieces. I absolutely adore this set. I was so excited when I got it. Um, I remember when I first got it that night, I stayed up all night building it just because I was so, so excited about it. And the set turned out to be even better than I expected. Um, you do get five minifigs in this set, and you do get Princess Leia, which is why I did my hair like this, because I love Princess Leia. And I love her hair. That's great. Um, but back to the set. This, Like I said, this is an um, awesome, awesome Lego Star Wars set, and it is an anniversary edition. Um, this set came out in 2009. And it's the 10 year anniversary of the Lego Star Wars sets. And uh, let's just show you the box real quick. This picture up here at the top is actually one of the pictures that they used on the original Lego Star Wars sets um, back whenever Lego people were still yellow. <laughs> um, and as usual, you get uh, your mini fig pictures on the side of the box here. Um, and you have a lot of really cool pictures on the back of this box. Um, they show you some of the inside parts and different things. Um, I absolutely love this set and I'm so excited that I finally get to review it for you. Um, but let's go ahead and move into the close-up so I can show you all the details on this amazing set. Now for the close-up review on the Pantive 4. Uh, like I said, this set has five minifigs. I'll go ahead and show you those first before we talk about the actual ship. Um, this is your basic Rebel Trooper. Um, nothing too special about this guy, uh, but I do like the helmet that they gave him. It's not just your basic minifig helmet or whatever. Um, but So that's your Rebel Trooper. And then, you know, you get your two droids. This is R2-D2, and you do get some detail on the front. And you also get a little bit on the back. And here is C-3PO. Um, you know, you get him in, in several sets. So, not too unique. But I do like that they, they did give you him in this set. And then you also have Princess Leia. And as you can see, that's why I was dressed the way... I did for this review and why I put my hair up. Um, and she does have a very unique hair piece, by the way. Um, you're probably only ever going to get this hair piece on a Princess Leia um, because it is so unique to her. And then you also have Captain Antilles. Um, this is the last minifig you get in the set. Um, nothing too special about him at first. But they named him Captain Antilles, which makes him a special minifig. Um, and you also get the helmet again. And he also has a second face on the back. So you could uh, turn it around and use that if you wanted to, say, play out the scene where Darth Vader chokes him. So that's just a neat little thing they added into that. So those are your minifigs. And then we'll move on to the actual ship now. I'll go ahead and show you the removable parts first, like this whole roof piece here that just lifts off. It's not attached at all. Um, and this is that piece. Um, you have your swivel cannons up here, and there's also another swivel cannon on the bottom of the ship that's almost identical to this. Just a couple pieces are different. Um, and you also have these that turn also. you got some great detail on the top of the ship. And this is the inside of it. Nothing too special about that. And then this roof piece here also lifts off. And nothing too special about that. You do get a couple of wings there. Um, but that reveals your cargo transport vehicle that just slides into the little hole that it left there. And uh, you do get, you know, your little control piece on there. And, you know, a minifig would stand right here to, 
to drive it. And then you also have, you know, this space back here for your actual cargo. Um, and then that's the bottom of it. And then you also get two escape pods. Um, there's one on either side of the ship here. And uh, I'm glad that they did include that for, you know, showing when R2-D2 and C-3PO escape. And then you can just pop the whole escape pod apart like that. And this is the inside. Again, you get another control piece in there. Um, hopefully you can see that good and everything. And it just pops back together like that. And that's the end of it. And uh, I will show you the actual ship here. And the end of it, the back end is very heavy from all the engines, and I'll show you all that in a minute. Um, but we'll start from the front. Uh, this whole piece is the cockpit, um, and this is all printed on there. The top and the bottom, that's all printed on there. You don't have to worry about those stickers on this one. Um, and it just lifts open like this. And then you get, you know, two chairs and three more little control panel pieces. And those are all printed on there again. So that's the inside of the cockpit. Um, I think they did a good job on the, the cockpit. I, it wasn't quite like I expected, so I'm glad they, they did do that that way. And then here you have the command center. And then this is Princess Leia's desk here. Um, get several little printed pieces in this, you know, right here and here, and also on the sides here. Um, and then this is where your, uh, your cargo transport vehicle was, just in this little pocket here. You also get a radar that swivels around. And then, let me turn this around so I can show you the engines. This is the side of the engines, and then there's the top, and you get quite a bit of detail. Um, they used a lot of little pieces on the top. And then this is the end. These are all your engines back here. Um, it makes the end of the ship really heavy, but uh, I think they did a good job putting it all together, um, which fits for an exclusive set. Um, so that is your Tantive 4. And before we go, I just have a few more things to say. Okay, so now that you've seen all the details and everything, all the mini things and everything in the whole set, um, you can rate it for yourself. But personally, it's one of my favorites. Um, since this is such an iconic set, you know, it's one of the first ships that you see in the movies. Um, it first. It starts out the first movie, even though it's technically number four. Um, it's the first movie that they made. Um, this is the ship you see. It's. I think they did an amazing job on this set. Um, for Star Wars collectors, it's an absolute must-have. Um, for the amateur builders, it's probably a pretty challenging set to build for them. Um, I had a lot of fun building it, but, you know... Um, you know, it, it would be challenging for the younger audience. Um, and if I haven't mentioned it at the beginning, um, this set did cost about $150, but since it is a Lego exclusive, I don't think that's too high. Um, you know, some of the exclusives are $200 or more, or, you know, you've got the $400 sets. Um, but Personally, I really love this set, and I want to thank all of you for watching The Brick Queen. Um, please uh, comment, like, and subscribe to me. Thanks.